Hi, I'm Ross Giles Trimmer again. It's the first time I've ever made any videos, so never too old to learn. I try to keep up with the technology, but it's racing forward so fast. There's so much. I'm a grandfathered PCA, probably the oldest in California. I am a scientist. I've studied different things than many in different methods. I use math, elementary math, in my calculations. My research has taken to me in more areas than I ever thought possible. Here's the truth on the San Joaquin Valley from the beginning. The San Joaquin Valley and most of the valleys in California are we're a desert. It was the most unique desert in the world. The largest lake, freshwater lake in the world, in a in a desert, an oasis. It's also the best weather for agriculture. Simple solution, drain the lake. Damn the rivers. We did that many years ago. I never took the time to research. There's so much, this much research on this. The valley floor is subsiding, compacting, never to rise again. We re removed so many billions of pounds of weight from the valley floor and, and the underground aquifers and oil that we've compacted the earth to never rise again until it's subducted, goes down in the middle of the earth and melts again and comes back out. We're at the end now of a four-year shot. It is the most serious meteorological event in recorded history <laughs> and People can't, won't face it. I, I don't even know why I'm telling you. I have clients. I, I've been allowed to only tell you about this. I've studied many other things. But to anyone living in the interior of Central California and, and in all of California, we're in a lot of trouble. Take a drive out to here where they no farming. Why don't they farm it? The aquifer is poisoned. <laughs> They've drained it. There it is. If you want to see our future. Here in Porterville, we've got East Porterville. They've supplied them with 300 gallon plastic tanks and a five gallon bucket and sometimes giving them water. I don't know. Pretty, not, not real high tech. Really, that's their plan. They have the military flying chemicals <laughs> to induce rain. <laughs> really. <clears throat> it, it mushrooms from there. This subduction and sinking and compacting of the San Joaquin Valley is causing earthquakes, small ones, all around the valleys of California. It just makes me nervous. We're right, you know, the San Andreas Fault is right here. I live next to a super volcano. People don't, you didn't know that, did you, in California? Long Valley. Active. Are there, a super volcano is always active. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, a trigger. I don't know. It's not my biggest concern, but, you know, I live in California. The, the the water, it's a simple fact, it's c it contaminated <laughs> with selenium, boron, heavy metals, nitrates, I forgot nitrates, 
it's a cocktail of chemicals, DBCP, herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, nematicides. <laughs> I guess the next thing that saddens me is the mountains surrounding the valley. They've been mismanaged. The Forest Service knows it. I feel sorry for them. Someone's telling them to do this. They know what needs to be done and they, they can't do it. It is very likely to force the Sierra Nevada mountain range and the coastal mountains surrounding the San Joaquin Valley, maybe the others, is going to burn to the ground. Doesn't matter, they're dead. Probably 25% of the trees, I know they give you a number, but I, I count almost dead. They're, they're still just as flammable. Conifer, <laughs> you know, they go up like a Roman candle. Can't stop it. Everyone that lives in the mountains is in grave danger. What does it matter what one man says? At first, I, I didn't know what to do with this. But they've ignored every study since 1960. Everyone. Armageddon's coming. The rubber meets the road by the end of this year. It can't be stopped. It's irrefutable. <laughs> it's simple mathematics. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, I'm sorry to tell everybody, but we've got to save the cities. <laughs> Los Angeles, San Francisco, Sacramento, wherever they live. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that farming is no more except dryland farming in California until things correct themselves. God help us if the weather in Texas hits here. They may have the same problem. They, they may. We've basically made a bathtub out of this great valley. The water ain't going to go nowhere. <laughs> The, it's, a, it's a horrible thing to say, to know. It made an attempt on my life, but I don't care. I don't give a shit. I know the truth. The truth will set you free. I am free. God help you all. Thank you.